Hey guys, today's Monday, August 24th. Uh, this is Duff, and uh, I'm going to give you a little quick injury update on where I'm at 20 weeks to Disney uh, Marathon. I did have a little recurrence. I think I might have mentioned that either on the blog. I can't remember on Buckeyes Outdoors or not. But um, I did have a reoccurrence of my calf injury, which originally occurred in July. I had gone to physical therapy uh, at the tail end of my convalescence, if you will, of that injury, and um, I kind of felt like I was coming back from it, and what happened was about six or seven days ago on a Sunday, I was doing an eight-mile run, like five, three quarters, and boom, felt like somebody shot me in the thigh. It was pretty uh, pretty intense, and just kind of like rolled up, and it felt like pop, and uh, I don't know if I physically heard it, or, or if it was more of a uh, tangible pop, but it was like a popping, like bang sensation in the calf. So uh, I immediately stopped, stretched, and did what I could to just alleviate the pain. But I knew I had to stop immediately and just go back to my cross training and elliptical, which is what I did. I had already completed three sessions of physical therapy at that point, and you know, the physical therapist had pretty much signed off on slow and incremental runs, which is what I was doing. I went from five to five and a half to six, and then I had worked up to eight again. So anything over five seems to to aggravate it. Uh, I had, uh, in the past couple of weeks, or maybe about a month ago, had switched to New Balance 758, a neutral shoe with the orthotic in it. Um, I don't know if it's time to rethink the orthotic or as my new physical therapist has suggested, maybe it's time to think about getting new ones uh, where that's a big investment and it may not solve the problem. I'm not sure I'm keen to shell out four bills to get a new set of orthotics. So um, I know some people have had success in dumping them and getting better. Uh, but I'm curious to see if anybody has any feedback on that. Um, I think by Wednesday, I'm going to be ready to uh, re-jump into things. I, uh, my calf is a little bit achy, but not too bad. Uh, it actually feels pretty good, and I'm anxious to, to get out there and start running again. Um, that's what's going on with my training. Um, I am reading this book as everybody and their mother is I just was on Runner's Roundtable um, uh, with the host, I mean the author of this book, Christopher McDougall, and um, somebody who espouses the, the barefoot running technique, uh, named John, I believe it's Hayward, uh, out in, uh, in England. And my only thing is um, I want to understand why this is just coming about. Um, why? I, and I totally buy into the fact that, that shoes may be over-engineered, which is one of the basic uh, chapters of the book that Nike has, has um, always known that they over-engineered their, their shoes. Um, but I'm not quite convinced that barefoot running is right for everybody. So I'm, um, I'm, my jury is out. I'm still reading the book, so I, I reserve my right to hold judgment until the end. But um, I plan to give a full review uh, when my um, reading is done. So um, that's it. Uh, the only other thing I was going to add was, um, was when we um, make choices in our lives. Uh, one of the things I'm learning about at work is, is making solid choices in what we choose to do with our lives, whether it's our training or our work. Or, and when we make excuses, we are really making poor choices, or we're not making choices in line with our priorities. I'm not sure if I'm being clear or not, but um, when I uh, plan to do my workout tonight, I failed to understand that the work gym closed at 8 o'clock tonight. So when I got there at 8.20, it was pretty much shut down. Now I could chose to come home, get some rest, 
which would have been perfectly valid, I think, but I chose to drive to the Y, which was also an option for me and get at least a 30 minute workout in. Um, what's my point? My point is that we can make all the excuses that we want. Um, I didn't hand in my report because uh, I had so many other things to do. Well, that may or may not be true, but you probably chose not to do that report. So my, my just challenge to you is to think about how many times you do that in a day. And if you find yourself doing it, to, to call yourself out on it and to say, no, I didn't work out because I chose not to make a priority. I didn't spend time with my kid because it was more important to return email. These are choices. So just something to think about. And um, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.